Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass. Let us be sorry for our sins, and let us beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. You, O man, are without excuse. Every one of you who passes judgment. For by the standard by which you judge another, you condemn yourself. Since you, the judge, 
do the very same things. We know that the judgment of God on those who do such things is true. Do you suppose then, you who judge those who engage in such things and yet do them yourself, that you will escape the judgment of God? Or do you hold his priceless kindness, forbearance, and patience in low esteem, unaware that the kindness of God would lead you to repentance? By your stubbornness and impenitent heart, you are storing up wrath for yourself, for the day of wrath and revelation of the just judgment of God, who will repay everyone according to his works, eternal life to those who seek glory, honor, and immortality through perseverance in good works, but wrath and fury to those who selfishly disobey the truth and obey wickedness. Yes, affliction and distress will come upon everyone who does evil, Jew first and then Greek. But there will be glory, honor, and peace for everyone who does good, Jew first and then Greek. There is no partiality with God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you give back to everyone according to his works. Lord, you give back to everyone according to his works. Only in God is my soul at rest. From him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I shall not be disturbed at all. Lord, you give back to everyone according to his works. Only in God be at rest my soul, for from him comes my hope. He only is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I shall not be disturbed. Lord, you give back to everyone according to his works. Trust in him at all times, O my people. Pour out your hearts before him. God is our refuge. Lord, you give back to everyone according to his works. Please stand. Alleluia. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits for His word. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord said, Woe to you, Pharisees! You pay tithes of mint and of rue and of every garden herb, but you pay no attention to judgment and to love for God. These you should have done without overlooking the others. Woe to you, Pharisees! You love the seat of honor in synagogues and greetings in marketplaces. Woe to you! You are like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. Then one of the scholars of the law said to him in reply, Teacher, by saying this, you are also insulting us too. He and he said, Woe also to you scholars of the law. You impose on people burdens hard to carry, but you yourselves do not lift one finger to touch them.
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, there are many instances in the Bible when we are reminded to avoid passing judgment on others. And one such instance is our first reading today. In today's first reading, St. Paul reprimands the Christians in Rome who easily pass judgment on others, especially on the Gentiles. Mga Kristiyanong hinuhusgahan ang mga hentil, ang mga hindi naniniwala, sapagkat ang tingin nila sa kanilang sarili ay mas mabuti, mas banal, kaysa sa mga hentil. St. Paul warns them, as we heard in our first reading, to avoid judging others because our judgment of others usually rebounds to us. Our judgments backfire on us because many times we are also guilty of the same sins that we see in other people. Kaya daw tayo wag huhusga sapagkat yung panghuhusga natin sa ating kapwa ay kadalasan bumabalik din sa atin dahil tayo rin ay guilty doon sa kasalanang nakikita natin sa ating kapwa. Did not Jesus say, avoid judging for as you judge others, so you would be judged. Kung paano kang humusga sa iyong kapwa, Ganun din naman, ikaw ay huhusgahan. When you judge another person, the first person to be judged is not really the other. When you judge a person, the first person to be judged is the one who judges. Kapag tayo'y humusga sa ating kapwa, ang unang nahuhusgahan ay hindi yung ating kapwa, kundi yung taong humuhusga. Kaya mag-iingat, huwag basta-basta huhusga, baka bumalik yan sa iyo. This is also the reason why Jesus has fiery words against the Pharisees and the scholars of the law, as we heard in our gospel today, because they were so easy to judge, to judge, and their judgments are only based on what they could see. Mahirap yun, humuhus galamang batay sa kung ano ang nakikita. Hindi naman nila alam ang buong istorya. Hindi naman nila nakikita ang kabuuan. They do not know the complete picture and yet they are so easy to judge. Are we not also guilty of the same? Nakakita lang ng isang litrato na pino sa social media. May panghuhusga na kaagad tayo. Even those joining the live streaming of this Mass, you could only see what is in your frame, in your monitors. You could not see the whole picture of what is happening inside the Manila Cathedral. And yet many times, we judge based only on our limited capacity, based only on our limited perspective. Oh, how quick! we are to judge. My dear brothers and sisters, instead of judging, 
can we be more understanding? Instead of condemning, can we be more forgiving? Instead of accusing, can we be more loving? Not that we will tolerate evil. Not to judge does that mean that we will tolerate the wrong. Not to judge does not mean that we will play blind before sin. Kapag sinabing huwag kang huhusga, hindi ibig sabihin nun, palampasin mo lang yung masama, magbulag-bulagan ka sa kasalanan. Not to judge means that I do not think of myself as superior, as holier, as more righteous than other people. Not to judge means that, at, that I admit that I am also a sinner, I am also guilty, I am not perfect, I also commit mistakes. Not to judge means helping each other become better persons. My dear brothers and sisters, today we are being reminded that it is not our task to judge. It is only God who judges. The irony of life is this, that we are so quick to judge others when in fact we do not have the right to judge. And God, who has all the right to judge, never judges us. He only understands, forgives, and loves us. Please stand. Coming together as God's people, we confidently bring our needs before the Father, confident that He will grant our requests. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be conscious of her responsibility to promote social justice by her ministry to the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government officials may be sincere in their effort to provide services and programs for the poor and the destitute. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that employers and workers may be honest and respectful to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the disabled may find support and assurance from their families and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have departed from this life may enjoy eternal happiness in the company of the saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers. Let us also pray for our brothers and sisters in northern Luzon who were severely affected by the typhoon. May many people come to help them. And let us also pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, deepen our faith so that we may grow in your love and always serve you with generosity and sincerity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
understand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the, of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the, the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him O God Almighty Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever Amen Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment with which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We invite you to our healing rosary for the world tonight, which will be hosted by the Our Lady of Fatima Parish in Binakayan, Kawit, Cavite. Today is October 13, and today also marks the last apparition of Our Lady in Fatima. And so it is fi very fitting that uh, today we pray the Holy Rosary together. Let us join this parish community in Binakayan, Kawit, Cavite, tonight at 9 o'clock. Let us ask the intercession of Our Lady, Our Lady of Fatima, for peace in the world and for healing of all those who are sick. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mother, to you do we plead to ask God our Father for help in our need. Amen. 